Shirako, people often ask me what Shirako is, and it's the melt uh, of any fish. We are about to try our first tasting of Shirako. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel like the chef, while preparing it, did assuage my fears because he said it tastes like marshmallow. So we'll see. But will it taste like marshmallow? It's a delicacy in Japan. It has richness, it has umami, uh, it doesn't have off flavors if it's prepared properly, and it's the thing that just about anybody would love. I think the best way to prepare it is to poach it gently uh, with sake and a little salt, and that helps remove any possible fishy taste that it might have had. I think anyone who tries it would like it the first time. It's almost the kind of thing where it's better to not know what it is the first time you have it. That way there's no mental block. Wow. wow. You pop in your mouth and at first you're kind of like, okay, where's this going? But then it explodes in like a uh, really creamy, guess, milky, you know, almost like a... Buttery? Buttery, buttery texture. texture. A buttery texture. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And it actually like, feels like it's melting in your mouth, which is probably the best part. It's kind of like reverse caviar, just like the male counterpart caviar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Similar concept. The, the texture is a little different on this one. It's a little bit thicker, like, mm -hmm. and it kind of tastes like an egg yolk. I've never felt that kind of texture in a food before, like ever. And what was really good about this is that the shirako itself, it like, because it was so thick, the flavor was almost concentrated. Like, mm -hmm. it's like stuck to your tongue. Right, I agree. 